I've got the day off today, so I'm going to take a walk in the foothills of uh, Southern California, Eaton Canyon. It's a nature park. It's the dry wash. Beautiful yucca. I'm kind of off the main trail here. Just walking through the wash, hoping to see some snakes and lizards and other critters. I'm hoping to find some snakes out sunning themselves. It's only about 8.30 in the morning. Probably about 65 or 70 degrees, and it's a perfect time of day for snakes and lizards to be out sunning, getting their body temperature up for activity. You'll often see rattlesnakes and stuff just kind of coiled up, sticking half out of a bush, half under a rock, somewhere where they can thermoregulate without exposing themselves to danger, hawks and coyotes and things like that. So you have to have a good eye and be pretty lucky to see him. I just spotted another whip snake. It's probably going to take off really fast. It's kind of a blackish color, maybe olive sort of. Gold stripes. Well, there it goes. Gone like an instant. These suckers are so fast. They usually cruise through the, their environment with their head up like a periscope looking for lizards and they chase them down and eat them. I once found one eating a lizard and got to watch it eat the whole thing. A little gruesome but it was a unique experience. I'm going to make a noose to catch a lizard. I cut a small yucca leaf and I'm going to pull off these fibers. Can't do it with this one hand. Anyway, I'm gonna pull off a little piece, tie it to the end of a stick, and catch a lizard for you. Okay, got the noose on a piece of dead, dry meal fat, and I see a lizard off in the distance. He's a big one, and my stick isn't very long. That guy got big by being smart. So he may not let me get too close. One problem is I'm coming from the sun, so my shadow is going to get up there. Let's see. Yeah, he's going to let me get him. He's going to try to eat the string. Gotcha. get him this time. Got him. It's not as big as he looked from a distance. Look at the blue belly. Neck. I'm gonna put him to sleep a little bit. Watch this. If you rub that belly they go into like a little catatonic state. I don't even have to hold him now, he's just going to lay there. Yeah, I'm going to let him go. That big one just crawled up on the rock right after I caught this guy. This one may be a female, and that might be a male. I'm gonna put this one up. I'm gonna try to catch him now. Yeah, this one's got a lot more blue on his throat. Let me see if I can get him to relax. There's a little 
claws there. Grab me. I don't know why they, why this calms them like that. It's like, it puts them to sleep or something. Look at the beautiful colors. Alright, little buddy. And they're not very bright. You can catch the same one over and over again. There's an interesting little spot here. I'm up on the side of the wash. There's a bunch of rocks, boulders, and stuff. Some good vegetation surrounding it. Looks like a good spot to find a rattlesnake coiled up doing its ambush feeding thing. Be careful of my footwork here. More, more for the poison oak than, like right there, than for rattlesnakes. They get up in these rocks, they provide a lot of cover. The snakes can be exposed to the... Oh yeah, there's a gopher snake. Holy crap. He's doing just what I was saying. Just sunning himself. Half in and out of the rocks. Well protected from hawks and stuff. I don't think he sees me yet. I'm getting a good picture of him. He's half under those rocks there. Yeah, he detects something now. His tongue's flicking. i try to get a little closer without scaring him. It's probably still cold. Yeah, he sees me moving. That's okay. As long as I don't make any sudden movements, he'll be nice and calm. It's probably like a two or three year old gopher snake. These spots are great for them because they can thermoregulate and be protected from predators. A lot of people are afraid of snakes, but the reality is they've got a pretty tough life. They've got a guy like this eat mice and rats, no hands, they get bitten up. He actually looks like he might be missing an eye on this left side. Hawks grab him all the time, owls at night in the twilight. Yeah, it looks like he's got maybe a problem with an eye. Try to get him out. Yeah, I didn't want to hurt him. Just gonna let him go. He's going back down. Oh, I almost had him. Yeah, I don't want to hurt him. Yeah, he went back down that crevice. Let's see who else might be around.